Now, scientists have unveiled a highly anticipated first image of a black hole. I never believed that this black hole was as big as people said until we saw that. It's an event so significant. Astronomers released it at six simultaneous news conferences around the globe. Here it is, the supermassive black hole at the center of the giant elliptical galaxy M87, more than 53 million light years away. The gravitational monsters have been so far away they've been impossible to see, but scientists from the Event Horizon Project created a global network of observatories to form a virtual telescope the size of our planet. Now, this marks the beginning of debate into whether the image supports or shatters what we know about space and physics, including Albert Einstein's 100-year-old theory of general rel relativity. Joining us now is Derek Pitts, who is the Planetarium Program's director and chief astronomer at the Franklin Institute Science Museum, his live from Philadelphia. So good to have you with us on Al Jazeera. So we have it, the first image of a black hole. What did you see that's significant for you as an astronomer, and does it affirm or challenge what you've always believed about the laws of physics and space? So what can be seen here that's really uh, impressive is we can actually see the, uh, the black hole region itself, the region beyond the event horizon that will not let light escape from it. And the shape of it really does help us understand that the laws and principles of physics proposed by Einstein about black holes actually was true to the expectations and to the uh, calculations that he made such a long time ago. So we've been able to confirm not only the existence of black holes, because now we have an image that shows what a black hole looks like, because we can see the effect of matter falling onto the event horizon or to the accretion disk around the event horizon, but we've also been able to confirm these theories of Einstein's about gravitation, and that's incredibly important. So just explain to us, Derek, how they were able to get this image. Just how difficult was it to bring everyone together, because this was a big collaboration. How difficult was it to collect the information, and this from a long, long way away? Yes, 55 million light years is quite a distance, but what, what's really impressive here actually is the collaboration that went into creating the instrument that allowed us to gather such highly resolved data. So what was done is eight radio telescopes around the world spread across the globe had their images synthesized together time-wise so that we could create essentially a telescope that is not only the size of Earth, Remember, this is a synthesization. We're taking the signals from eight different telescopes and blending them together, and doing this makes it seem as if the telescope is the size of the Earth. And then what was done was they took images as the Earth rotated around the sun and as it rotated on its axis. And what that does is it fills in gaps that would be in this data because there are only eight telescopes. So doing this actually gives us the resolution of a much bigger instrument. And putting that information together allows us to get this really, really wonderful image for the very first time mm. of something that had been previously, as I think of it, iconically unseen. Right, and this, as you say, is the first image. So can we expect more images? And what will be the significance of those images? The images that will come after this will be images that provide more information so this is an array of eight telescopes. If more telescopes are added or more data points are taken, this is going to fill in the gaps of clarity and resolution uh, that we need to help us give us an even better image of what we see. But at the same time, we would also be able to turn this instrument or use this instrument to examine other black holes that maybe aren't quite so far away. Uh, the really cool thing about this particular observation is that everything had to align just perfectly. The position of the Earth, the size of the Earth, the location of M87, the direction the jets were blasting out of the black hole, all of those things together help make this discovery happen. So this instrument can be used to observe other black holes in other locations, and subsequent observations will provide more data that will improve the image we have already and help us to confirm even further these ideas about gravity that Einstein proposed. So very cool and exciting. Thank you so much for shedding light on this for us. Derek Pitts, astronomer, joining us there from Philadelphia. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you.